This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 3303 solids. Got a series of, of videos. First, I'm going to start with a moment of inertia of a shape. What I've got is a C shaped. Uh, area that is five by five on the outside it's composed of one inch legs it's C shape turned on its uh, points turn 90 degrees and so I need to figure moment of inertia first I need to figure uh, centroid where the Y bar centroid is and I'm going to break it up into two pieces two parts or sections and analyze it that way. This is something we learn in statics. Um, what I'm shooting for is where is Y bar and I'm going to measure it for several reasons from the top. You can measure it from the bottom get the same space, the same point in space but I'm going to do it from the top just to be a little bit different. Okay, as I say, I'm going to break it up into a 5x5 five five square that is a, a positive area. Then I'm going to cut out that 3x4 area that I've shown in red and calculate based on each part. Okay, so I build this chart and I call the sections 1 and 2. The uh, this, pot, this section is called 1, and the red section is called 2. And the first column in my chart is the area of the, of the shape. So that is 5 by 5 is 25. And the area of the negative red shape is 3 by 4. 12 and it's negative because it's a cutout. I sum that column and I get 13. The bottom row is the summation which I sum several of these columns. Next is Y tilde of the part. So I've done that over here in blue and once again I'm measuring everything from the top of the shape so Y tilde for the section 1 is just half of its height Five, so it's 5 divided by 2, or 2.5 inches down. For the red area, measuring from the top, the thing is, the top is one, the top of the red area is 1 inch down from the reference point at the top of the shape. Then I've got half of its height, so it's 1 plus 4 divided by 2. So that's 3 inches. Note that those are really negative inches, but I'm going to call them everything positive because I'm measuring everything down. Simplify a little bit that way. Y tilde A is, the, is multiplying those two first two columns together. And so 25 times 2.5 is 62.5. Negative 12 times 3 is negative 36. I sum that column and I get 26.5. And now I can figure Y tilde, Y bar for the whole shape. Y bar is the sum of the Y tilde A's divided by the sum of the areas, which is those two numbers, 26.5 divided by 13 is 2.038. I'm going to keep my calculations to four significant digits, although we usually report them to three. The next column is uh, I bar X prime, and that's the centroidal moment of inertia of the part, or the shape, the piece, about its own centroidal X prime axis. So I've shown that here in this third drawing. It's actually the axis, the X prime axis, through that centroid of the shape which is at y tilde down so that's the CG where I put a little cross and so 
For a rectangle, it's always BH cubed over 12, where B is the base and H is the height of the rectangle. So the numbers for the 5x5 five five positive area are 5 times 5 cubed divided by 12. And that works out to be 52.08. My units of this are inches to the fourth. For the red negative rectangle, it is base 3 times 4 cubed divided by 12. And this is a negative area, so it has a negative moment of inertia, and that number works out to be exactly 16. I sum that column and I get 36.08. My next column is the dy column. Remember this table is based on the parallel axis theorem, which says the PAT, parallel axis theorem, says that I x of any x, I bar any x axis is, and for this it's a summation, the sum of the centroidal moment of inertia, I bar x primes, plus the sum of the AD squared terms. In this case it's ADY squared because I'm dealing with the x-axis. That's what this chart's based on. So DY for these things is the distance from the centroid of the shape to the centroid of the area which is Y tilde, the little part and piece centroid. So it's just the y bar 2.038 minus the y tilde 2.5 so that's negative 0.462 for the red negative rectangle it's 2.038 minus 3 0.962 then I just to get ady squared I square that column and multiply it by the area and I get 5.33.462 squared times 25 and this one works out to be I'm multiplying 0.962 squared times a negative 12 so I get negative 11.09 I add up the ADY squared column and I get negative 5.77 interesting to note and remember I can never have a negative moment of inertia but I can have a negative number in my ADY squared column and the summation of it. So now I'm almost there. I bar X prime. And this is the I bar X prime of the entire shape. Not to be confused with the I bar X prime of the part and the piece, which is this column here. So it's the sum of the I bar X primes of the shape of the individual pieces, 36.08, minus 5.77, so that equals 30.31 inches to the fourth.